Uh, hello. Uh, on my last video, I showed you how to generate uh, power. Uh, sorry, generate voltage on on a DC machine. Well, this is not yet DC because uh, as I have showed you, uh, we still have this waveform, the one I'm showing here. This is still AC, but well, at least it's well, it's it's flat AC. It's not sinusoidal. Uh, the reason for that is because of these curved poles. I discussed this on my uh, previous video. And then um, I also showed you how to use the equations from linear DC machine and translate them into rotational. And then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, for today, I'll, I guess I'll be showing you how how do we make this. Oops. I'll be showing you how do we make this uh, disappear and then make this DC. Of course, uh, in electronics you have uh, rectifier, full bridge, uh, a full wave, full wave rectifier. Uh, but for well, it's an electronic process of. Uh, rectifying your AC signal into into DC, uh, that that's okay. You can you can do that. But for for E fifty one, I'll be showing you how to perform. What is the commutation process? Because uh, commutation process is uh, mechanical. It's it's not well. It's not really mechanical. Uh, yeah, uh, it's some sort of mechanical uh, process of transforming this DC into into AC. Uh, okay, so your commutation is yeah, it's it's basically converting your DC AC voltage into into DC. Uh, so let me show you the diagram for that we used before this one. Okay, so I want you to take note, take a mental note of this of this uh picture. So and then. Once you take a mental note of that, okay, then I'll proceed to commutation. So the difference of, oops, the difference of that image to this image is that you have this sort of mechanism here. Okay, so... Uh, what is that mechanism doing there? Uh, if we go back to this illustration and then to this, uh, to the explanation of the polarity on the E total, if you can still remember, once this coil, this loop rotated 180 degrees, what will happen in the polarities on E total is that they will they will interchange uh, from here you have the positive and negative from left to right on my well uh, yeah parehas tayo ng left okay but uh, once it rotates for 180 degrees then our our polarity will go from negative to positive from left to right so it interchanged and then another 180 degrees, it will interchange again. Another 180, it will interchange again. Hence this, hence this waveform. Because it's changing polarity after every 180 electrical degrees. So when you have this mechanism here, what will happen is that this part of the coil and this part of the coil they will interchange um, they, they will interchange polar polarities therefore if this is positive at one time then this is negative at one time then this commutator this small plate here since it is connected in the brush uh, in the in one end of the coil will be positive for a negative for d and then after 180 degrees this will be negative, this will be positive, making this coil negative, this 
ko ah, this coil, this commutator negative, this commutator commutator positive however the catch is that you have a brush that is not uh, you have a brush that is not uh, what do you call this that is not soldered that is not at well it's it's uh it's it's not attached yes to the to the bra to the commutator so they are just having contact with each other but they are not attached to each other mm -hmm. so what will happen to that to that brush if we go back again here as you can see for uh an, at one position mm -hmm. a sorry at one position, A is negative, D is positive. In another position, after 180 degrees, oops, after 180 degrees, you stay, you have A and D here. I think I made the wrong. Ah, yeah, yeah. I think I made the wrong polarities here. I think this is positive because of this and then negative because of this. Yeah. Okay. And then I have A that is positive. Uh, let's me, let me raise this. That is positive and then D that is that is negative. So you 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 interchange polarities on on A. A is negative on A is negative, D is positive, and then after 180 degrees, A is now positive, D is now negative. So what will happen here is if this is at one point negative and positive, then this will be negative, this will be positive. Now it, once you rotate 180 degrees, A which is now here will be positive d which is now here will be will be negative so this commutator will now change polarities these two however if you have some sort of a catcher of polarity here then this catcher will always have the same the same polarity this side this side will always be positive and then this side will always be negative so it's not the commutator that is constant in polarity it's the brushes that is constant in polarity so so what happens is that the brushes cons uh the brushes captures catches the constant polarity from the commutators so that's uh well and then instead of getting the voltage from the commutator directly you get it indirectly by uh, uh, having a contact brush yes having a contact brush on them so you get the polarity on on the brushes so because of that I uh, do I have uh, illustration here yeah yeah I, no I don't so because of uh, that commutation process so instead of getting this waveform on the brushes you'll have this waveform so yeah so you just you, you still have these gaps it's not a perfect line it won't be a perfect line because you still have these gaps but it's well it is now it is now DC it's no longer AC so that's basically uh, the commutation process uh, okay so yeah so,